Santa Barbara Baker here with an end of the summer garden pizza. I love using up my fresh vegetables, putting them straight onto the pizza, keeping it as simple as possible when they're prime season. Starting on a base of my sourdough, you can find all my pizza dough recipes. They're all on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. Also, check out my stretching videos. They're all up on the YouTube channel. I like to start with a base here of the cheeses. I have some fresh mozzarella in the mix. I've diced that up along with some fresh goat cheese here. I feel that pairs really well with the fresh zucchini and fresh tomatoes we got going on. I like to use a good amount on a pizza like this. In this case, we're not using a sauce per se, but so you wanna go pretty big on the cheese, keep that dough weighted down and make sure we have plenty of delicious flavors going on. Next up, some fresh garlic. I like putting the garlic down at the bottom here. Gives a little bit of insulation. You put the garlic on the top of the pizza. It often burns down here with the cheese. Should keep it nice and insulated. On to the zucchini, super important here. You want to salt your zucchini, summer squash, whatever you have on hand ahead of time. That salt will bring out the moisture. I just do it into a colander. Make sure, you know, give it about a half an hour. Let that drain, get some of that excess moisture out. You'll end up with a much more intense flavor and a less soupy pie. We want to avoid excess moisture on that pizza whenever possible. After that, I like to add some fresh salads, shallots here. I've just sliced them up. You feel that nice little onion garlicky flavor pairs really well with the zucchini and fresh tomatoes along with the summer garden party here. My basil still going bonkers. Hooking it up with plenty of fresh basil. You know, some people like to add it before, some like to add it after. I'm putting a nice, generous amount on here before. Feel free to add some after, too. I like the mix of both, especially when we don't really have a sauce on this one. Up next, I'm going to move on to our cherry tomatoes here. I've seasoned those just gently with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. It's nice that when they're at this peak season, they're so bright, so fresh, so sweet. I absolutely love them. Can't get enough of them. That's what I'm thinking of when we hit winter is dreaming about those delicious tomatoes. Wrapping this thing up with keeping it super simple here, we'll just finish it off with a nice little grind of salt and pepper, and of course, a generous glug of olive oil, and we're loaded up into the Unicota 16. I've had that thing preheating now for over a half hour, getting this thing loaded up. Looks like it's loading up really nice. Oh man, totally burnt. What a bummer. It looks like I must have had the oven house. In fact, that's what I did. I forgot. Here with my summer garden pizza, there's no way around it. This thing is totally burnt. You know, sometimes you blow it. I forgot to turn the oven down to low. That's how I like to bake. I always have it on high for my preheat, but I left it on there low. The pizza didn't catch it at first, so you go a little bit extra crispy. It happens sometimes, but we're just making that pizza at home, and it bake actually looks pretty good. The crust is burnt, but overall, this pizza looks pretty delicious. Maybe a little spot there could use it. Definitely a better bake for sure. Let's get in this thing. Summer party is still lit. This pizza tastes absolutely delicious. The crust is burnt. What are you gonna do? But this is still an amazing pizza. We got that fresh zucchini. I salted it to coax out some of that moisture. The fresh sun gold tomato peak of the season. So bomb. Fresh shallots, garlic, a little balsamic drizz to finish. Total summer vibes going on here. I love it. Check out my dough recipe and all my recipes up on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. <laughs> Check out the YouTube channel where you can learn how to bake pizzas. Hopefully not burn them like this. You know, but it happens sometimes. Check me out on Instagram. I'm on there. I'm Santa Barbara Baker. I love you all. You can help support the channel by buying Uni products through my links down below. Thanks for all the support. I love you all. One love.